Hi, this is Jennifer Gillihan. I'm here with The Big Reveal and Jillian Murphy from the Berg Event Space. And we're here to kind of share with you today some of the things that you should ask of a venue when you are attending a bridal show. Thanks for joining us, Jillian. Hi, thanks for having awesome. me. Well, so kind of share with us, when a bride comes in and is looking at different venues to select from for her event, kind of give us an idea of the questions that she should be asking. Sure, the very first thing that I always ask uh, potential clients are, Number one, what is your date? Or what is your date range? What year are you looking at even? Um, just so we can make sure that it's a possibility. If you are in love with one date and you just have to have it and we don't have it available, you know, nobody wants to waste their time looking at something that's not gonna work. Um, the next thing would be how many guests are you anticipating that you'll have? Um, our max capacity at the Berg event space is 200 if you're doing a ceremony, um, but 130 if you're doing an outdoor ceremony outside in our courtyard. So those things make a difference as well as well as how many people can be seated for dinner, or if you're doing a cocktail style event, how many guests we can accommodate there as well. Sure. Um, the other thing for us would be, are you doing both a ceremony and reception at our location, or are you looking for just a reception venue? Because that will really affect how I walk you through the space and, and what we talk about on your tour. Yeah, okay, great. And, and it's also very different from one venue to the next, what services you provide, not just the facility itself. Kind of talk to us about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Berg Event Space does include, um, you know, bartenders, bar service, uh, parking attendants, security officers, and a manager on site that day. Um, some venues are a lot more DIY, and some brides like that, but some people want to be taken care of a little bit more. Um, so they like knowing that I'll be at their event um, and that our staff has been here with us for years and we don't hire, um, you, know, you know, party personnel or something like that. Okay, great. So kind of tell us what are some of your, uh, you've kind of spoken to it a little bit, but tell us some of your selling features. What are the things that kind of set you apart from a lot of the other venues in Kansas City? Well, there are a lot of venues in Kansas City now. Um, and I will mention that we were sort of the first downtown venue. Um, now there's one on every corner, but we were the original loft space downtown in the Crossroads District. Um, and we're in a 1909 building. So we've got original hardwood floors, um, brick walls that really make the space have a lot of warmth um, so you don't have to bring in a lot of decor which is nice for a lot of people who kind of want to keep their stress level to a minimum on the day of their event. Um, we also have outdoor space um, so we're located on a second floor loft and we've got a first floor outdoor space which is great for cocktail hours or ceremonies or just a place for people to go outside and get some fresh air during your reception. Great. Great. Well, thanks for being here. That's all we've got for today. Um, I appreciate you answering all of our questions, and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Yes. Exactly. And to our, yeah, and to our brides, we will look forward to seeing you on September 18th at the next big reveal.